football is about sacrifice, dedication, a lot of work and friendship off the pitch. Today, we'll be watching Friendship at its Best, a sporting event of brotherhood, a tournament which symbolizes unity among neighboring countries, from our respective homes to our second home. This is Rowena Tino inviting you all to the 7th ASEAN Committee in Kuwait Futsal Tournament. Don't go away, we will be back. With me now is a representative from our Philippine Embassy, our Vice Consul, Charleston Hermosura. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. I'm very happy that we're here and celebrating and at the same time having this event. Okay. Sir, what is the participation of the Philippines in this e sports event? Okay. So, Philippines is part of Team Blue, along with Malaysia and Cambodia. The Philippines has six players. And of course, just like all the other embassies of the ASEAN Committee in Kuwait, we also served Philippine foods here. And at the same time, we contributed to the gift that we had for the director of this gym. So, how many participants do we have, sir? Um, we have six players from the Philippines, part of Team Blue. Okay, so any message, short message, uh, with regards to our viewers uh, about our the the uh, I mean the Asian community that we have here. I see. So this is part of our promotion of ASEAN or the Association of Southeast Asian Nations here in Kuwait. Um, we are actually one of the largest blocks in the world, and uh, this is one activity for us to foster our unity as ASEAN, and at the same time to promote awareness of uh, in Kuwait about ASEAN. So any more other uh, activities lined up? Okay, um, well, we have the ASEAN Day, which is normally sometime in August. And of course, we have the ASEAN Family Day, which is to celebrate again ASEAN as a united family. And uh, we do that normally at the end of this year. We also have, I think, about two or three more sports events lined up for this. Okay, so let's uh, bid our team uh, the best of luck and we enjoy the the game here thank you thank you and there you have our vice consul from the philippine embassy with me now is the chairman of today's event, none other than His Excellency, His Ambassador of Thailand, Dusit Manapan. How are you, sir? Very good. Uh, hello okay. to everyone. Yes, sir. Can you please tell us something about this uh, sports event? Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you about the, uh, the ACK. We form a, um, we call it ASEAN Committee in Kuwait, which comprises 10 ambassadors, 9 ambassadors. We have the uh, we have nine ASEAN embassies in Kuwait, except for Singapore. But we, we have Singapore ambassador accredited to Kuwait, but he is based in Singapore. So ASEAN committee is, is the committee of nine ambass uh, ten ambassador, uh, ten ASEAN ambassador in Kuwait. And so, sir, uh, this is like a football, right, sir? Yeah. So uh, how, how is the activity going on? It, it's the first time it's going to happen here, sir, right? No, we, sh we usually uh, organize activities, many activities each year to provide opp opportunities for ASEAN population, ASEAN citizens in Kuwait to get together, to strengthen their, their solidarity, to strengthen their friendship, and to know each other and this is this futsal event is it's just part of many activities that we usually hold 
uh, each year. Okay, so for the futsal, uh, futsal activities, sir, how many teams do we have? Uh, we have our ASEAN embassy sending the prayers, and we also invite uh, China, uh, Japan, and South Korea, who are our, we call it ASEAN plus three. Who have plus three, they are, uh, these three countries are our, our very active partners, you know. And this year, we have prayers from, from Japan, because uh, China, the Chinese ambassador to me, is, is, he just arrived this year, so he has more time to, to prepare for. for but sir, how many teams do you have? Uh, we have four teams. Four teams. Yeah, we, we combine some uh, embassy together, and uh, we have four teams. So it's not embassy against embassy, but uh, no. all mixed embassies in like the, four the, teams. My, like my team, I, we we mix with uh, prayers from Laos, yeah, Thailand and Laos, and we we pray against um, Indonesia and uh, I think Malaysia. Uh -huh. So, sir, uh, this is like uh, the first sports event, or you have sports event from the past? Uh, for this year. Yes, this is the first sport event for this year, but after this we're going to have the uh, bowling. And uh, after bowling we'll have badminton and uh, ping pong. Okay, so actually sports unite all nations, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, sport. Do, usually sport, sport do no harm to, to anyone. Okay, so uh, what do you expect from uh, the expat community? with regards to uh, this uh, if sport events that you have organized, sir? No, we, we would like, you know, usually this event, are, you know, are open to our, our ASEAN uh, citizens here. Uh, we would like them to come and join us. And, you know, you, you can see we, we also prepare food from every country. Yeah, they, they bring their food. and. You know, all ASEAN citizens and even the Kuwaitis, you know, are welcome here. And yeah, and it's come. a very nice event that you have organized, uh, and we look forward to more events like this one, uniting our nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, we, 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 we will, we will let you know. We will let you know when we have the next event. Yeah, and and you're very welcome to yeah. our event. So any uh, message from our viewers, uh, especially the expat community, sir? You know, ASEAN countries are, are, are united. And we want to represent our legions uh, in Kuwait, which is quite far away from our region. We are friendly countries, all of us. And I, I know that uh, some ASEAN countries have the labor, a lot of labor here, in, in working in Kuwait. And they are good laborers. And, and we want our citizens to be a good citizen here too. And this, uh, this uh, my message to to the local uh, Kuwaitis and uh, local people is that, you know, we will try to do anything uh, to do uh, our best to be a good citizen here to fork relationship between ASEAN and Kuwait uh, for our mutual benefit. Thank you. Thank you very much, His Excellency, and let's enjoy the game. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And there you have our, His, uh, I mean, uh, His Excellency, our Ambassador of Thailand, Ambassador Dusit Manapan. Back to you. At this point, I'll be talking to the Ambassador of Cambodia, His Excellency Tambunpa. How are you, sir, His um, Excellency? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, can you please tell us uh, the participation of Cambodia in the, today's sporting events? 
Uh, today, uh, we have uh, a few, a few uh, diplomats and uh, local staff. And uh, actually, we expect to uh, invite the Cambodian students who study in Kuwait, but uh, maybe have another program, so they cannot join us. But now we play uh, only three people. Uh, we join the uh, uh, Philippines and the uh, Myanmar. The three people in one team, but we lose. Even even we lose the you know the game, but it is the the simple, yes, the simple of ASEAN uh, uh, culture because uh, we always uh, organize such event every year. Last year, we, we play badminton here, and another year we play also the uh, futsal. So, uh, what is the importance of sports, do you think, uh, His Excellency, with regards to the expat community in general? I think everybody likes sport. You know, in general, the, 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 especially the football, football, uh, FIFA, World Cup, everybody enjoys. Even sometimes they cannot sleep at night. So I think we ASEAN, uh, in Asia, as well as the Arabic, I think the same. So what other events can we look forward to from Cambodia? I, I think uh, this is uh, the Thai embassy, we chair the ASEAN, so we, we uh, participate to organize some event in group. I think after, after Cambodia will uh, chair the ASEAN, Cambodia will be expected to organize uh, such event, but not uh, different, always the same, rotation like uh, uh, futsal, badminton, football, something. Any message you can give our viewers to both the expat community and the locals, sir? Uh, on behalf of the ASEAN, uh, one of the ASEAN member states, I uh, thank you very much for the, uh, the, this uh, institute, uh, what called center, we got the center authority that provide us, always provide and support us ASEAN. And uh, this is the symbol of the ASEAN community, I think. Thank you very much, His Excellency. And we look forward to hearing more of events from Cambodia. Thank you very much. Okay, and that so you have it. Uh, our His Excellency, the Ambassador from Cambodia. Back to you. We'll be talking to the representative of the Indonesian Embassy, Charge Affairs, Ganto Sorry. How are you, sir? Fine, Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm happy to be here uh, participating with this event. And at, at the beginning of the event, we have, uh, together with other staff, we have Zumba. So make us uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, strong, yeah, feel very strong. Yeah. 
something. Can you please tell us something about the participation of Indonesia in today's event? Yeah, today we participate, we send uh, Indonesian team uh, together uh, with uh, other embassy. And uh, Alhamdulillah, the first uh, uh, game we won against uh, other team. And we are going to uh, we're waiting for the final. Uh, and also our participation, not only sport, we also provide some Indonesian traditional food. Uh, yeah, we it's, it's already gone, I think, at <laughs> this time. And uh, we are very happy that people knowing each other and uh, uh, tasting uh, each other country's food. Sir, uh, how can you say or uh, can you tell us the importance of sports in uh, maybe in one's life or in the, the expat community per se? Yeah. It is import, very important, the sport. Uh, uh, it is a place for us to gathering together. Uh, in this event, uh, we are gathering among uh, ASEAN community, so we, we all the diplomats, the embassy staff, will know each other, other embassy staff, so it makes us more, later on, more easier to coordinate, to, to, uh, to communicate with uh, other embassy. And also for the embassy, Indonesian embassy, we also sponsor uh, Indonesian uh, community uh, uh, sports uh, like futsal, football, uh, volleyball, badminton, uh, and table tennis. Uh, last even uh, from starting from uh, December until uh, March, we uh, we organized the uh, football uh, three months, and during three months we also. Uh, provide the Indonesian bazaar food and this is very interesting for Indonesian community they are gathering together not only doing sport but uh, well the hunting for the culinary of Indonesia mm -hmm. so anyway sir we look forward to more of your events from Indonesia yeah. thank you and okay. thank you for your time sir okay thank you very much and that is the charge affairs from Indonesia From Myanmar, His Excellency, Charge Day Affairs, Kiao Nyut Luen. How are you, sir? I'm very fine. Very good today. And uh, what is the participation of Myanmar in today's sporting events? Yeah, uh, actually we got nine embassy, uh, ASEAN embassy here. And we are combining, we are combining all together uh, nine embassy plus ASEAN plus three. So China, Korea and Japan are also inviting and uh, they are also uh, participating here. So Myanmar team is uh, with uh, Indonesia today. Yeah. Okay, do you play sports, sir? Yeah, uh, yes, I do, I, I do play. Uh, I play table tennis, and sometimes I go to the golf course. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what can you say about uh, today's sporting events? Yeah, actually we do uh, every year uh, that, that kind of, um, uh, sports events like a uh, futsal, bowling, uh, badminton, like this. Okay, so do we uh, do we expect activities from uh, Myanmar or any events from Myanmar this year, sir? Yeah, uh, so uh, annually we are, are doing uh, futsal, uh, bowling, uh, uh, gun shooting. So we will join all the activities uh, along with the ASEAN group, ACK group. Like what I've asked uh, the other uh, diplomats uh, in uh, today's event, what do you think is the importance of sports to, uh, to one person or to the expat uh, community in general, sir? Yeah, uh, basically uh, doing sport is good uh, for the health and for the friendship. And especially we are doing that uh, sports tournament uh, in, in the arena of the ACK group, ASEAN in this region so that uh, we can uh, disseminate about our organization, about our ASEAN, and about our country's respectively. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, your country, sir, do you have any uh, delicacy from the food uh, stalls that we have uh, a while ago, sir? Uh, you mean for the sports? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. A uh, long, long time ago, our country is very fam famous for the football. Our country is uh, uh, at the top level. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you uh, for your time, His Excellency, and let's enjoy the game. With me now is the Chief of Operations of C Network, Mr. Jason Borhama. How are you, sir? Great. How are you, Rowena? How's everything? Good, thank you. So how do you find this event? Well, it's full and it's interesting and uh, it's actually alive. Uh, you can see uh, the seven uh, the festival happening. And I'm really uh, happy that we participated with our uh, culinary classes that we um, provided this community with. And it's open for everyone to participate in. And today we're bringing seven of their, our greatest chefs that uh, graduated already. And most of them uh, are mentors helping out with the uh, other batches of uh, chefs. Today we like we brought uh, these seven uh, beautiful uh, chefs to participate and uh, give uh, snacks for the teams uh, um, holding uh, this uh, festival here today. And the tournament is is really on fire, and I can see like the goals, and everyone is cheering up and having uh, a really good time. And I hope that this continues. And um, um, having the disabled club to help us. It's something that's really nice from the community, uh, to the community, I mean, and, and to everyone, basically. Okay, can you please tell us something about your company, about uh, this culinary class that you're uh, conducting? Okay, sure. Um, since last year, we came up with this principle of helping the community in terms of what they have to, uh, to evolve and maybe to do business somehow. somehow. Uh, as we can see, everyone in Kuwait now is trying to be uh, somewhere in the freelancing community or try to evolve with their business and try to always develop their skills. So we find this sector is not tapped and I think it was very easy because of the people and the, 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 very, the very beautiful heart that they have in terms of opening up for development and change and actual uh, prosperity for people. And this is where we come from and what we want to do in C Network where we do the, uh, the growth in the community and that's why we have a flower in our uh, um, logo. And again, uh, this culinary class is, is open for uh, everyone to be participating in from the Asian community and the Kuwaiti locals. It's fine, but we mainly started it with the Asian community so that's why we are very, very uh, grateful for that and their help. And we'd love to see it bigger and bigger. And it's, uh, it's open for everyone, as I said. And if you want any question or... Uh, or uh, or want to find out more, just follow us on Instagram or on our, our website. Okay, thank you very much, you Sir so Jason, for your time. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you. And there you have the Chief of Operations of C Network. Don't walk through life just playing football. Don't walk through life just being an athlete. Athletics will fade. Character and integrity and really making an impact on someone's life. That's the ultimate vision. That's the ultimate goal. From Second Home, this is Rowena Tino. Mabuhay! <laughs>